Hi, this is Steve, Banner Knowledge Bowling, and I'm here with Dwayne Enterline, president of the GH USBC and teammate for the USBC National Tournament in El Paso, Texas. And one of the questions, several of the questions that I got while we were in El Paso from people who came back was around spare shooting. It was very tricky this year. And one of the things that I heard over and over again was when I try to make the 10 pin, and then they stop and they fill in the blank. I stick at the foul line. I throw the ball into the gutter. I pull it left. And I'd like to work with Dwayne here today to talk about how to more, how to better execute making that 10 pin. So the first thing that I'm going to ask Dwayne to do is I have a piece of paper here and I'm in two lines. And I'm going to ask Dwayne to sign his name on the first line. So Dwayne, could you sign your name, please? What I want you to do is I want you to try and sign your name exactly like you just signed. So I want you to go ahead and do that right now. Oh my. Okay, this is going to be hard to see on the camera, but wait, is that a D? What? What? A, I, I, I can't even tell if that's a D. Now again, I'm picking on Dwayne a little bit here, but here's the point. The first Dwayne went ahead and did it. He didn't think about it. He signed his name thousands and thousands of times and executed it properly. On the second time, I asked him to try and emulate that first signature, and he could not do it. So when I'm going to ask Dwayne to shoot 10 pins in the next segment, I'm, I want the first Dwayne to execute the shot of the 10 pin, not the second Dwayne that tried to do it. We'll be back here in a minute. This is Steve, back with Banner Knowledge Bowling. This is part two of the spare shooting with the 10 pin with Dwayne Enterline. Very, very exciting. So I talked about in the first part about trying to make the 10 pin versus doing it. And we want the first version of Dwayne that signed his name the first time rather than the second version of Dwayne who tried to do it. The second thing is setup. You need to set up properly in order to make the 10 pin. So I got some more props and love props of batter knowledge bowling. But when you're shooting the 10 pin, we typically have you stand on the other side of the lane. And the mistake that most people make is they do not square themselves to the target. Most people square themselves to the foul line and then they try to throw their arm out to the right. And that is a mistake. We need the hips and the shoulders to go right down the target line so you can go a straight shot towards the 10 pin. A common mistake that people make is they will face the 10 pin and then square their shoulders back up. And that causes a coil and that usually means you're going to pull the ball or drop the ball. Every once in a while, rather than the hips will stay square to the foul line and they'll move their shoulders again. We don't, we don't want to coil, we want everything in the straight line. So we're going to have Dwayne set up for the 10 pin and I'm going to show this using the alignment box. So Dwayne's going to set up correctly. And when he's in his when he's in his setup position, you can see he is at an angle. He is straight down the line to the 10 pin. If he was square to the foul line, he would be more this way. We want we want him to be facing this way so that when he lets go of the ball, it's going to go straight down the line towards the 10 pin. Wayne, you want to make 10 pin for us, please? Thank you, sir. Making the temp, and that's what we like here at Banner Knowledge Bowling. Please send us your questions, post them online. We're going to have more episodes with spare shooting and some of the philosophies on how to hold the ball, the grip, and how to line up properly to shoot straight on the left side of the lane as well. Appreciate it, and we'll talk to you soon.